All right, today's endeavor, a mass chemistry experiment uh, that I am gonna attempt to do. So I got interested in it, it tastes good. I'm talking about mead. It is by far, from what I've read and watched, probably one of the easiest brews of anything that you can make. It's four ingredients minimum, you have water, you have honey, you have yeast, and you have thyme. Uh, what I'm going to attempt to do is make a apple cinnamon mead for Christmas. Give it away as gifts. Why not? It's thoughtful. It's something I made. Why not? So on my stove, let me flip this camera around. All right, on my stove, I already have one pot of mixture. Um, it is about a half a gallon of water, and I put about three pounds of honey, two and a half really, um, into the mixture. I didn't boil the water, I got it up to, to about warm, poured the honey in, and I mixed it in to where it'll dissolve. And there's a term for this mixture, I just can't remember what it is. So I have a second pot over here that's ready to uh, that's ready to have the honey poured in. So we're gonna pour it in. Yeah, baby. Look at all that yummy goodness. Honey is exceptionally healthy for you. Uh, if you eat it from a local source, it actually helps with your local allergies. Uh, it is a natural antibiotic. It never gets old. I read an article where they found honey in an Egyptian tomb and they reconstituted it by doing exactly what I'm doing now. Uh, of course it was crystallized, but they put it in hot water and made it into back, to, back into honey and it was still good. It has such a high glucose rating, sugar content, that it never ever gets old. good to the last drop so as it's pouring I'm going to stir takes time now you don't want to put this hot mixture into the glass carboy that's right over here so my two gallon jugs they're called carboys a potential to crack the glass B we want to let the heat come off that way when we add our yeast into it it doesn't kill the yeast because the yeast is what's gonna ferment the honey to make the meat And of course you can add different fruits into it during the fermenting process or after it uh, to give it the flavor that you, you're desiring. So we have, I'm not going to add the apples in, in during the fermenting process, but we do have apples. I don't think I'm going to go with Granny Smith apples though. I don't want a sour mixture. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to try a yellow crisp apple. Um, very sweet flavor to me. It's my, by far my favorite apple. And I'm going to get a couple of cinnamon sticks and throw in there as well. No, we're not making a caramelized <laughs> mead. That's my son. He's my cameraman. I'm not. By the way, if the government ever finds out, my son is not involved in the process of making alcoholic beverages. Disclaimer. Nor is he drinking any. Also, disclaimer. <laughs> I'm not. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm not. 
I think it's important to have a couple different hobbies, keep you busy. Woodworking. As they say, making. idle hands are the devil's playground. I don't like to have idle hands, so this is what I do. Drumming this is, is why better. it's hot. This is why it's hot. I'm hot because you're not. <laughs> <laughs> He's my helper, my assistant, <laughs> my four-legged friends who think they're going to get food. <laughs> oh, Messi, you're so pretty. You're so pretty, Messi. Yes, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you're pretty too, Sam Bear. Yeah. And you're ugly. Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And... You're blind, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not blind, although I did forget to put in my contacts today. No big deal. Mmm. Honey water. Tastes amazing. Greasy. Say hi.